we will discuss all about the structural directive but after the intro as of my previous video i explained that the three types of directive component attribute directive structural directive i already explained the structural directive in the in the in that video you can check here in the card and now the today we're going to go with the structural directive you guys may be using structural directive in your day to day life so the main structural directive is ng if that is star ng if star ng for ng switch those are the structural directive guys yes those are the structural directive so what they do the structure your dom like if you give a ng if if that condition is true then the html will get added to the dom so again we will start working in this app uh, app component this is from the previous video if you can if you remember so we will add a ng if so here we'll go ahead and add a h2 element i will add ng if and that is star in the syntax is star ng if you may wonder what the star is i will explain it in some time so for now consider on the ng if part so here we'll give some variable okay we'll give a name variable so the, if that name is true or false it will get displayed to the dom as it will not add it at all so that there is a call so and hide now also you can know the display none and those what those things do is the element are present in your dom that just hidden by the browser so suppose if you have some data suppose you have massive data in the in the element and you give uh, if and you hide that uh, element so this data and this memory will still remain in the browser and which is cause which is slowed up the system and nowadays we have a very faster system that's not an issue for us but if, as a developer you should keep in your mind how to optimize the application so if you give a so hide or and this one the hide so that's not preferable if you can use ng if in that place so if but the ng if do if this suppose this is the element and if this condition pass then this element will be remain it will be added to the dom else it will not so this that doesn't have a existence in the dom if that condition become false now as this is false when we go to the browser we'll see that there is nothing so it's as expected okay so i will go ahead again and make this name as true and you can see this that the hi i am subrat kim so when you go when you go here and try to inspect this one okay so if you go here is saying that h2 container hi i am subrat it's in in top of that you can see there is a bindings which is saying that ng reflect ng if equals to true so that is saying that this condition became true so that we added this dom this uh, so we added this dom uh, element to the dom so when i go here and make this one false and hit save and come back here and as you can see there is nothing is there we'll try to tell is is hiding or not so they as you can see here it's saying that ng that that the same condition is false so that there is the element itself is not added to the dom so again we'll go ahead and make it true and check here so this came so this is how uh, the benefit of ng if is work so this is the comes under structural directive as well as you see 
According to the condition, it changed the structure of the directive. We'll try to add some more condition. Try to see what if and if content. So, so if you know if and other and every program if, if has a else, right? Every person. This is also has a else. So if you go to else. If this is true, render the go ahead and render the H2 part. So I am super, it will render I am super. And if that falls, that means else, it will go ahead and render this another whatever present inside that. So we will see here. So now this the condition is true. So this is this will, uh, uh, so this will as it is. So I have I am so but. Uh, so it will go here and make it false okay now if you go I am because okay so so here so the explain so this will check for this one it will run this else it will go to this we can add it then also so here pause the video guess in your mind what could be the answer what could be the answer or else if you want to know the answer go ahead and code it yourself then check what should be the answer it will be a little bit different so as the name is false you can go here it will check name is false so it will run the else so it's ambiguous but now that twist comes so now I think some of you guys may uh, expect you may get what the result and some of may not but that's not that's happened with me so when, when i saw this first time i was shocked so we make it true now is i am in bangalore so so what that have what is what's happened here so now what it does it check if this condition satisfies then do this then render this else render this so now it will not render the name part so now I will explain you what is the star is okay so what the star ng if how it will work inside angular did internally it's it did this so it's add ng template like we did it here so it, it I will go ahead and comment this one for the sorry mm. so it add template here and this this thing it will it will become a property binding now that property binding is a giving a property name and if that name is true this is a directive okay that like like i explained in the previous video if you have an input parameter to a directive that can be directly assigned like this if you don't know go ahead and check that so that's the same thing it's get assigned here and that value value put to this ng directive and that return some event that rendering some the value will will try to make our own structural directive and that time will be get more clear so so if i go ahead and comment this one you will see the the result will be same hi i am subrat and if i go make it false So you can see nothing is there so this work as it is as it's present as a star so this is uh, so there are some dark things are done uh, inside as a, for the structural directive in, in some time I will make one structural directive of same ng if structural directive and show it to you how how much things are done with a single syntax you gave to the browser so you know what is the meaning of star so same for ng4 so ng4 is a loop so it will run in the loop and that also same so it will as a ng template so that's have a ng4 ng4 off directive which puts an again a, a input to that directive and render according to the conditions okay as you may notice i am making a longer video i am unable to fit uh, all the content in a smaller one i think it's due to the starting i mean starting phase uh, and I will get to learn how to make videos shorter and uh, deliver to you to you guys in a better way.
Now we are going to create our own structural directive, like we created in our own attribute directive. Structural directive in usual day, you, you don't require to create one. Uh, Angular is providing to us and that is pretty easy to use here. But for the knowledge point of, for the learning point of view, I will explain you how to you how to do that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create a directive here. And if you go, uh, if you go to the tree, you can see a structural directive we got created for us. That is a spec file. And so as you just created a new directive, I will show you how uh, Angular do for ng if here. So it just created ng kind of ng if condition here. So what we are doing is we are giving a template re reference. We are giving a view container reference. For the container reference, about this is the container with the reference of that. So inside that you have a template. So the template will be, so the template will be this one, the hi I am Subrat. This is the template for so the data inside that. Okay. So here, if you go, I added an input parameter, which is a setter property. In the input, you can add a setter, getter, and all those things so that directly it will instead of call instead of assigning data to a value it can be uh, passed data to a method as well so what i am doing here is i am making a input to a selector so if you know, as an attribute directive if you watch the previous video you will get to know why i did this i directly assigned the value as a property binding so here as an input i am passing the condition i am checking if the condition is there in the in, in the view container reference I am creating embedded view and adding that same template. So in here, in this case, the template is the high I am subrat. So that will be get added. If that false, that will get clear. Okay. So here I will go ahead and save this one. And instead of ng if, as I, as I explained, I will just create a same thing as ng if. I will go ahead and do this one. Okay. And I will try to remove this else, whereas this is not the part of this. So just guess. So here, the now the name is true. So this is loading. So this uh, hi I am Subhat came. So if I go here and make this false, so as expected, hi, and this is loading again. Something happened to my system. Okay, so that gone. So I will explain you again how this is worked. Is so, so are giving a star parameter. So what it does is so again is converted to this thing and this and if become this. So now this become a um, attribute directive with the property binding, and that that's how it's get passed to the input. To the input and we're checking the condition when enabling the we are embedding the template inside the view container or you are clearing that one so this so this part is the internally how angular is doing for us but uh, for for our use we will you will always go ahead and use the star because that is crisp that is faster that is uh, what is meant to be so so go ahead and check this is working or not yeah this is working so i will go ahead and make it true again i'll check that one okay so this came i am so broad so that's working as expected so that's it for today guys so today we learn how to make your own structural directive what is ng if ng for how to use them in your application so it's all about directive so you guys know you every day you're gonna use these things so if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to the channels please give some comment in the comment section below and share the video among your friend we'll meet in the next video till that bye bye